We're starting now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, welcome to Neil's Cookery Show. And uh, tonight we're making chocolate fudge. We've got a time limit of 10 minutes to, um, I think to get this in a tray, isn't it? Get it in a tray, not actually have it finished or something. 10 minutes to get it all done. Okay, I'm starting now. I haven't read through this. Okay, put sugar and cocoa into saucepan. Sugar, two cups. Cool. Saucepan. See, it's going all right so far. I think the lid's off that. I, might, I think this is how I'm supposed to... Oh God, it's not coming up. Cut very quick. It's like... Oh, like a bag of puppy poo. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, we're nearly there with the fish. God, that's, it's, um, isn't sugar supposed to pour? Has this sugar gone off? That is about a cup. So put your first cup in there. Hopefully second one should flow really well. Um, there's sugar going everywhere. I think I like the mess of this. Second cup in. Okay, so. Put sugar and cocoa into saucepan. Cocoa, two tablespoons. Um, how big's a tablespoon? I've got no. Got it. Okay, tablespoon. These are actually from a Christmas cracker last year. <laughs> right, table. Those two tables. Is table the biggest one? It is, isn't it? You can get a teaspoon. Tablespoon. So it's got to be the biggest. Okay, how much is that? Cocoa in the saucepan. You've got two, no chance, eh? Two tablespoons. Don't know what a tablespoon is. <laughs> tablespoon one. Okay, tablespoon two. Okay, we're in on the cocoa. Mix to combine. Uh, a fork. Fork will do that quite well. Okay, whilst mixing, add milk and butter. Fuck. Half a cup of milk. Half a cup. Okay. Half a cup of milk, half a cup of milk. Okay, now. Got the milk. So we need to add half a cup of this into here. Making very careful not to spill any. This is the uh, the low fat milk, so I'm slightly concerned about the quality of the chocolate fudge we are making. Now, 25 grams. Oh, God. It's not very much, is it? Is that like 25 grams? No, that's a hundred grams. There's not much butter, so it's low fat as well as chocolatey. Um, that's still far too much. Oh, it's like about an ounce, isn't it? 25 grams. Okay, that'll do. I think we're risking it's time we can find our butter all day. So, butter in. Okay, there. Then, you add milk and butter. Done that. Heat gently. Okay. Give it a stir. Remember, this is sugar and it should melt. It's not got a high melting point, sugar, has it? So, so. Okay, let's get this on the stove quickly. Put the, uh, the mixture onto the stove. I think this next bit is crucial. Um, stir it constantly until sugar is dissolved. Butter's nearly melted, I think. Let the mixture boil until the soft ball stage. What's a soft ball stage? Oh shit, it's boiling! It's <laughs> a hot boil stage! It doesn't say boil the shit out of it. It does say, <laughs> it says bring to boil. Should I be using a fork? Shouldn't, should I? Okay, stop boiling. Bring to boil. Yeah, brought it to boil. Do not stir. Shit. Okay, what needs to happen now, is you've got to let it boil to the soft ball stage. And this is a stage we've got problems with because we don't really know what it means. So it's boiling away. I'm not stirring it, which is what it said. It's not sticking. It's on the lowest temperature. I can't get any less than that. Is it going to be? Do you think it's going to be like a bit sort of um, hard, like almost like a pastry? Are you sweating? I'm concerned. Yeah. I'm quite concerned. Yeah. Yeah. Do a dare go and quickly look up on the internet to see what it says. Dare, dare. The softball stage is 234 Fahrenheit or 112 215 degrees C. 
and then it goes up and up and up and up clear liquid caramel okay so i think we're okay i think we're done we take it off so it's just the temperature it gets okay so it should be all right if i just take it and um, take it off now okay next instruction how are we doing for time um move from heat add vanilla and leave to stand for five minutes we're there we are there we are estimating on that half a teaspoon that's about half a teaspoon I'll put that in, okay, eat the rest, which is good for you, oh, that was strong, stir it, okay, now we need to leave it to stand for five minutes, so while it's doing that, I'm just going to go and read a book, ah, okay, five minutes up, Right, what I have to do now is beat it with a wooden spoon. Does beating it mean put air into it, do you think? Beat with a wooden spoon until thick. Pour into a buttered tin. So that's it, as soon as this is thick, I pour it in. But what happens if it doesn't get thick? What do you mean by thick? What? What? Well, it's getting thicker. This is going really thick. This is getting really difficult to do. This is amazing. You're getting excited. It's like chemistry. <laughs> Come on, you little potassium penangate. <laughs> yeah, getting excited, aren't you? Oh, ridiculously. I've never made fudge before. I've never made any kind of sweet based product. Cake, occasionally. Maybe the old pie. Not sweets. That's thick. That's it. I've, I've only got a made fudge, mate. And then just gently pour it. You don't need to uh, butter the sides of this. I think you'll find this is exemplary. Uh, sorry? Exemplary. Exemplary. Really good. Chocolate, toffee, fudge, fondue. So you put there. And then maybe, um, I like dusting of icing sugar just to finish it off. And ladies and gentlemen, that's 10 minute chocolate fudge.